I'm driving from Mokinsis to the Blackfoot community of Siksika to meet Stuart and Kathy Breaker. Stuart and Kathy have started a grassroots institute to revitalize language and cultural practices. Now it's gonna happen. How's it going? The Breaker's nephew, Curtis Running Rabbit Left Hand, took me to Stuart and Kathy's home to learn more about the project and how they're working with family and community. So the project they're doing, and spearheading that I get to be a part of again, is to start doing language revitalization in a way that focuses on community-based, family-based uh, types of protocols and, and ways of living. begun this language project. Mm -hmm. We started to notice that more and more of the English was being used. They weren't speaking Blackfoot. You know, our ones that are being transferred, they're just having difficult time understanding the language. Kathy and I were thinking, well, maybe we need to start developing something. One way that Stuart is doing this work is teaching his son Lane and nephew Curtis how to harvest willows to build a sweat lodge. Ceremony is an integral part of the family's cultural practices, and this is my first time seeing every part of the process that goes into building a sweat lodge. We're losing our language. It's considered an endangered language. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get uh, different ways to teach. feel good, especially mm -hmm. when I speak Blackfoot to them, because mm -hmm. the, the language comes from the earth. It's got to be spoken at home, so I try to do that at home, speak to my partner and my kids. To me, it's, I'm just transferring, transferring my knowledge down to them. Just really go back. Yeah. Okay. So that it's pressing on your thigh. Back behind. Okay. And then, okay. 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 Moki, the skyxi. I passed it to Moki, I was still scan. Kiam spitskiki, pawakski. Yamu, ikisamu, ikisinu yami, itsinikisin. Nineksi, <laughs> Epitam Waxkimata あよきちにあよきちにいちにいちにかとみゃわけがきとうとたびいちにこっぽわわけねいたっさみよいとかんしたわ今日のえ福の家なとうしいくせぴよきゃもいとこたしていいすかにそうですけいくせたべ 
ista povaksio kesuat sit sio ramuju ista ista hokan sta ostoksis kenokan sit sini kuk reciprocity that's another thing that i'm teaching them give as much as you can you know while you're here And when I hear Stuart speak it and, and he says to do something and says, oh yeah, go, you know, go pick this up or go grab this. You know, sometimes it can be said in English, but then when it's said in black, it's like, oh, like I know exactly that there's an action with that. I have to do that. And so I'll go and do that. And it just makes, all of it makes sense when that, when it's said that way and spoken that way and hearing it from him just makes it feel like, you know, that's, that's where I'm supposed to hear it from. That's just how it's supposed to be done is in the language. We do it in Blackfoot. I never thought I'd be speaking this much Blackfoot. Due to colonialism, at times in my youth, I felt even ashamed, but I got over that and I went over those other feelings of anger, grief, denial, loss, and finally acceptance, and I can move forward. With our language, there is this spirituality to it, and it's unlike any other. I don't believe the language is gonna die because we have elders already doing that work, like, like Stuart and so many others but the programs and help and and support that's what's missing and it, it does make it difficult sometimes to do it on our own but you can still do it you know and that's what's being done today and that's what we get to be a part of and what i get to be a part of and i'm blessed to be part of that i feel really blessed and fortunate to have been able to be here today meet you lane and your parents be able to visit here and be welcomed here but Learn more about grassroots, community-led projects like this, where people are seeing a need and providing it by any means necessary because they know that's what needs to be done. And I'm wondering what both of you think about where this will lead in the future for the ones that are younger than you and that are yet to come and what your dreams are for them as far as learning the language and carrying on cultural activities and ceremonies. Well, who's to say right now? Because right now the, the language is still in a state where it needs to be invested in, it needs to be supported, it needs to be watched over and maintained. And I'm doing my part. And we had done a program over the winter and we were testing uh, different groups and helping them and teaching them about a little little what they can handle then we would test them and it was truly beautiful hearing younger younger youth in the community and even older that never got a chance to speak to speak that language and some had worked really hard and I had told them well we've teach we've taught you this x amount of words but you know what you're now that many words towards total fluency towards being able to live day to day. So it's a little bit at a time. I prefer to live by example, and it has been making changes in this community. Some youth want, to, want me to teach them how to pray. And so, as I said, I never thought I would be speaking this much, but now I realize it's, you can't shame the youth because that's been done to me and that made me not want to speak my language. But you can lead by example, you can show that, hey, this is, this is, this is who we are. And it's what makes us six agates of happy. Listening to Lane and Curtis speak about how it feels to be learning the language was inspiring. It struck me just how special this is for them to be living and breathing their language with their family and conducting ceremonies on their homelands. Stuart took me to meet his brother Daryl, another fluent speaker of the old Blackfoot. We sat down on the bank of the Bow River to learn about their history and hear stories in the language. Nice to meet you, Daryl. Ah, forgot. We belong to the 
running Martin clan, which is Saiks. We raised cattle, we farmed, and so this was kind of our area. Saiks were known to be aggressive, to be, you know, um, hardworking. You know, we, we don't give up easy. We work hard to get what, what we need to get. So, so that's our clan here. Language is supposed to come right from you, from the body or from the heart. You're, every, you're putting everything into it. With English, you don't really, that's why there's no, uh, not much meaning in it. <laughs> so that's why when you ask me that question, I, I, I put it in my, in my Blackfoot, more or less Blackfoot uh, space, and then I'll convert it to English. That's why it takes, a, it takes us a little longer. It might, it's not that we're, you know, ignoring you. We're, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out what's the best way to put it in English. What am I, how am I going to put it back to you so that it makes sense to you from what I, from my experiences? How am I going to relay it to you? We heard the language all the time. And a lot of it is the old language. There's the new Blackfoot and the old Blackfoot, and we were exposed to the old Blackfoot. And so that's why we're able to, when we hear the old Blackfoot, we just know, oh, okay. So even though when we went to residential school, even our, our grandfather, Harry, our dad, Robert, even our mother, Rosalind, and even us, when the third generation, when we went to residential school, we were given straps for speaking Blackfoot. And let's say if I was to my brother in residential school, if we're in the classroom, if I was to tell him, you know, what's, what's wrong? I would get strapped. So they, they just, they wanted, they didn't want the, uh, us to speak our language. The love that we were showing was there. But at residential school, they, want, they didn't want us to, to love each other, to care, to be, uh, to, uh, to be compassionate. What we want is the government and the churches took our language away. Now you, it's going to take money. You give us money so that we can go to the to these elders to these teachers you know native uh, and, and and teach the young how to get back our language the language comes from the earth everything around us it's it uh, adds to it like being out here the language given by the animals so we're just we're hoping they are hearing it Beak six, Pisatsi beak six, that's the birds and the, all the animals. So that's returning the stories. So when we speak the old language, it's, we're sure it's going back to how we got it. I'm going to tell my brother's story oh. and I'm going to use our language. Hey, tapu makaya wa ku jisi paskaya ok amu ya pu pitska ta ni ma ya kiti ni ni cha ke next si asuk sika ta kiu pa i te next si asta muka kiu pa kiti swat ta sika ta kiu pa hu mi ka mi ku mi ku sapok si sama sama mi oma kiti ya kiti sika ta ki me skapata sati pa me nam kasinon huku awa me yam yo mako pano ko mate sitam so at skata yakstamo mako pa me amita mako pa ku me apoip skata nanne tocht anne tocht kito mako sinani matit skata ki tsinna sati pa Misty, Chikoku, a Sikaka, we are. Hadn't my aki do to see, but aki do see. He's happy for Maya. 
system so what to cook. Some take me, Yakstamiki Sapumako, me. Can you much it's Skadaki? Tapomakasinani, Nikipistan. Nam Kasin on Kahamadox, Kinua Muamui, Natu Kami, Ninex, Kinixi, Nam Kasin on Nixitapatupi. Can no catch it out, Chipa, Puinam Kasin, or Nazi Ponoko, and no. Me, Nixena Kasit. Send that Mixi Ponokomita, and Nixoka stay. Tapawa, Kai, can stoke him, we used to canae. It a pay, it a pomaco. Me, I could do, me, I could do, I could do, Toxinani, much it so what to cut. I'm pretty sure that was. I could go new pay fifty two, maybe nineteen fifty three. That's the. Mm. And yeah, so what's he? It's a Christa, you are. What else are people? It's a guy. Spending time with Stuart and Daryl out on the land made me realize how much has changed over time. Hearing them speak in Blackfoot was a reminder of how important it is for younger people to be learning their languages so that we can pass it along to the next generations. Kathy's teaching background is integral to the Language Institute they're building. Through cooking, she helps teach language and cultural practices to young people in the community. Thanks for letting me into your kitchen, Kathy, and for you to teach me some stuff and mm -hmm. for me to learn um, how you're passing along some knowledge through the kitchen, mm -hmm. and through preparing different types of foods. And I'm sure this is a really tangible, accessible way to pass along things to young folks. Mm -hmm. how, how has it felt for you to do this type of teaching with your extensive teaching background? Well, I number one, I'm very domestic and I love being in the kitchen and I love trying um, new recipes, but also I'm really connected to our traditional recipes mm -hmm. from observing as a child, mm -hmm. hanging out in the kitchen, watching how food was prepared, asking questions. So, mm -hmm. yeah, many, many cooks and experts taught me this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today what I'm going to teach you to do yeah. is the Blackfoot world is we're going to make gai. Okay. And that means um, like dried meat or, or pemmican. Okay. But we're going to um, take a few shortcuts okay. because the whole process would have taken us about six hours. Okay. And so we're just going to fast track. It's kind of okay. like those cooking shows where yeah. they pull something out from the cupboard or from the oven. There we go. <laughs> they, they Martha and here. Snoop. Here <laughs> we go. <laughs> So, and so, how do you say how do you say that word again? Gai. Gai. Yeah, gai. I learned the Bikani dialect of Blackfoot, and um, I know growing up as a child, um, I heard it like constantly between my parents and my older siblings, and I think where I ended up starting to talk primarily English was. Um, my two siblings that were closest in age to me, um, when they came home from school, they spoke nothing but English. And then I would try to speak Blackford as a child. Hey? And um, somehow my, my brother and I were, were very close in age. We spoke mainly English and our friends that would come over would speak English. But then my brothers, my older brothers and my sisters, their friends all spoke Blackfoot. And so that was my journey. And so I always say I can hear it fully. I know exactly what people are saying. And I can speak it if I really think about it. I can speak it. Thinking back to where where did we learn our culture? Where did, why did you know why were we doing this? And for me, I'm very thankful that my parents um, taught us how to live off the land. I 
don't want to cook it, to overcook it. Sure, so. sure, sure. So I'm just mm. going to throw it on. Okay. In the kitchen, we would refer to everything like the fork, knife. We would be teaching the kids all the Blackfoot words that go with those items. Cup, what that, what, how you say that. Um, table, chairs. We would be talking to the students about that so that they're hearing the language in every class that they're going into. And they, that, that means that they can use it in everyday life mm -hmm. and all these different activities that are so commonplace and not relegate language learning to like one class mm -hmm. or like one thing and try to use it more. Yeah, yeah, because these would be common that things that they would see. Yeah. It's not always through programs. It's what you can do for yourself. Yeah, sustainability, I believe. It's, uh, it's at the root of it. Yeah, the younger, they, when they see us, you know, they say, gee, when, when is your next sweat? Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I said, yeah, whenever you're, you're, you're welcome. But I think there's an apprehension there. There's, it's sporadic, but they want to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But I think they just need that extra push. As long as we can uh, lead by example. Yeah. I think that that's that in itself. When they see us, you know. Young people, when they come here, you know, we hope we instill that, you know. Don't be afraid of our own culture. Don't be afraid of your own shadow. You know, that's, that's, Creator gave us that. Our ancestors gave us that. <laughs>